Well, China's communist government isn't laughing after a comedian made a joke loosely referencing an army slogan. The performer, known as House, is being investigated. He has apologised and he's cancelled his shows. His entertainment firm has also said it's sorry and it's being fined some $2 million. All this over a joke about dogs chasing squirrels and the use of a slogan, fine style of work, capable of winning battles. But it didn't stop there. Police arrested a woman Tuesday for questioning on social media why House was being punished. Well, for, for more on all of this, CNN's Christy Lou Stout joins us live from Hong Kong. Good to have you with us, Christy. So it's certainly not an easy place to be a comedian. Uh, the communist government taking swift action. Yeah, you know, comedy apparently is a high-risk endeavor in China under Xi Jinping. Let's tell you what happened and led to this crackdown. It was during this stand-up set that took place in Beijing on Saturday, a Chinese comic known as House, his name in Mandarin is Li Hao Shi, seen on your screen there, he was riffing on this eight-word military slogan, a slogan that's been used by the Chinese leader Xi Jinping. He was making a joke about watching his two rescue dogs chase a squirrel, and it reminded him of the slogan that Xi used to comment on and praise the work ethic of the PLA. Now, the joke, it went online. It went viral, and then on Wednesday, the Beijing police launched an investigation. Authorities, they also fined the company that represents Lee nearly two million U.S. dollars. Uh, we heard this from the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Culture and Tourism. Let's bring up the statement for you. He said, quote, we will never allow any company or individual to wantonly slander the glorious image of the People's Liberation Army on a stage in the Chinese capital, unquote. Uh, the bureau also said that the company would never be allowed to stage any future shows in Beijing. Uh, the company, which had already issued an apology, also fired the comedian. The comedian has apologized profusely on his Sino Weibo page on social media. He canceled those performances to, in his words, quote, deeply reflect and re-educate myself. Now, it has come to this because in China, Insults against the military are illegal. It was a few years ago in 2021. That was when China passed a law banning slandered insults against military personnel. And on social media for the last few days, there are netizens who have been praising this government decision. They said, look, the joke crossed the line. It was an insult to soldiers. But there are others that dispute that. And they are fearing a wider crackdown on comedy in China. And it's very easy to see why, because this week, a woman in northeastern China was detained by police after defending the comedian and what he said on social media. Back wow. to you, Linda. All right, Christy Lucille, first uh, in Hong Kong. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you.